Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, May 22nd, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. This is a painting by Emilio Petoruti from Argentina. He lived from 1892 to 1971. This looks like a ladder painting. This modern art shows us that beauty can be depicted in so many different ways. Look at how the light plays on this bowl and this glass jar, which could contain the bread and the wine. The Holy Eucharist comes to us in different shapes and sizes, as does God's Holy Spirit. But are we awake enough to see what God is doing in a new day, in a new shape, and in a new form? The job of the disciple is not just to put their trust in God, but perhaps even more importantly, to be awake and aware of what God is doing, how the Holy Spirit is moving. How can we follow God's will when we're not watching for it? We continue this morning in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus is saying to the people, you're like children yelling to one another, hey, we went dancing, but you didn't dance, and we cried, but you didn't mourn. I go to these cities like Chorazin, and I do these miracles, and you don't believe, you don't follow me, and you're going to be in trouble. But if I'd gone to Tyre and Sidon, they believed and they followed me. I'm showing you everything you need but it's up to you whether you wake up and realize what's going on. He even says that Capernaum, where he goes and does a lot of miracles, there's so many people that just don't really care or they wanna get better, but they don't think about what this all means. But if he had gone to Sodom, remember Sodom from the book of Genesis where people were raped and there was all kinds of craziness and they were doomed to hell and brim, fire and brimstone burns up their city. Jesus says, if I had gone to Sodom, they would have recognized me and what I was doing. Woe to you if you're not awake to what I'm doing. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Capernaum. Hell is not created because God just sends people there. Hell is created because people choose not to see God or they even run the other direction. Jesus came to all the cities and did good works and gave them an invitation, but some of them chose not to see. So are you seeing or are you blinded by your busyness and your worry or your preoccupation with other things that are not God? Be awake. The salvation of our very souls depends upon it. The state of our awareness. Let us pray. Almighty God, help us to see how you are moving in this world. Where love is manifesting, where beauty is to be held where there is goodness and kindness, help us to see, to act upon it, to follow. Help us to seize the moment and all of its glorious possibility and not to run from it, even if it looks different, even if we encounter people who are different. Help us to pursue your will in all things. We ask you to bless the sick and suffering today I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of people who are on your hearts. Forgive us, Lord, for all the times where we've missed your goodness in the world. 
open our eyes to see you more and more and to see your hand at work in the world about us. Bring peace to this world. Bring justice, bring mercy. Give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us, for our own bodies, for our friendships, for the love that you show to us every day. May we see it and behold your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.